I've always had goals, aspirations, desires, but I didn't know what it was like to dream until I met you. You've opened my eyes to a whole new purpose for life. You've shown me that I will always have a home no matter what is happening in my life. You will always be my family, and I promise to always put the family that we create above anything else. I choose you, Dan, to be my husband and my best friend. Promises are hard to make, but with you, making these promises is the easiest thing I've ever done. I promise to be faithful and honest in every way. I promise to encourage you and to inspire you to never lose sight of my own passion for life, but rather to share that passion with you. As your wife, I promise to always be the woman you fell in love with. I want to grow with you, and I know that love is more than a feeling with you. It's a comfort, a means of support, and an inspiration to find the romance in the smallest of things. Our marriage will forever be our greatest adventure, and I'm so happy that today love makes us family. Amanda, after an entire year of planning, coordinating, good times, and a few bad times, we have finally made it. I cannot express enough how happy I am to become your husband and for you to become my wife. You have helped mold me into the man I am today. I'm not quite sure where I would be this very moment if I had not met you that night almost four years ago. You are my single serving friend, <laughs> and now you're about to become my forever loving wife. I take comfort in knowing that each morning I will wake up and see your beautiful face and each night I will be able to hold you as we fall asleep in each other's arms. I happily vow to be only yours now and forever, to laugh with you, to cry with you, to believe in you and to raise you up and support you. You are the woman of my dreams and I love you most until the end of time. This is the day that we've been planning for and hoping for and dreaming about and nervous over for a little while and here we are. It's love that has brought us here today. It's a celebration of the love that Dan and Amanda have chosen to have towards one another. We're here because love has brought us here. And you are all here for a very special reason as well. It's you guys who have had a significant impact on them. And so on behalf of our bride and groom, thank you guys so much for being here. And who gives this woman a way to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. May these rings forevermore be your most treasured adornment. May the love they symbolize forevermore be your most treasured possession. With this ring I thee wed, I pledge to you today till death do us part. My life, my love, and my sacred honor. With this ring I thee wed, I pledge to you today till death do us part. My life, my love, and my sacred honor. You know, Theodore Geisel is one of my favorite authors. You guys know him as Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Ted Geisel was being interviewed one day and he said, you know you're in love when you don't want to go to sleep anymore because for the first time in your life, your reality is better than your dreams. Guys, your new reality starts right now. Welcome to the never-ending sleepover with your very best friend. I now pronounce you by the authority granted in me by the great Commonwealth of Virginia, husband and wife. Dan, please, you may kiss your bride.
everybody, uh, my family, Dan's family. I think through the two of them, we're all going to be one big family now. Our friends, my fellow photographers, the uh, people that are helping us here tonight. want to thank you all for coming out. What can I say? It's a wonderful night. Be breaking up a little bit here. I'd like to say that uh, my daughter has been very special. She's always been a perfectionist. I think she did perfection in putting this together. And she picked out a perfect man. Enjoy. I've known Amanda for a long time. In fact, I was there the day she was born. Amanda and I are cousins at birth, but we are more like sisters. Through my childhood and teen years, college and adulthood, Amanda has always been a beacon of light, happiness, and inspiration to myself, her family, and friends. There is not a more generous, self-sacrificing woman that I know of. She strives for perfection in everything she does, whether graduating valedictorian from JMU or planning and putting on the stunningly beautiful wedding that we are honored to be part of. It filled my heart with joy when she told me she had found her soulmate. I have seen Dan and Amanda grow as a couple and see the love they share in their eyes every day. A wedding is not the culmination of a relationship, just the start of a lifelong journey of two souls, joy by love, passion, laughter, and joy. Let today be the building blocks for all the years to come, and may your home be filled with your laughter and that of your children as well <laughs> for all the days of your life. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Most uh, best men would have many, many stories of going out drinking, um, getting into trouble, just barely missing, getting arrested. This is my son. And I, I can honestly say, one of my best friends. Um, we've uh, shared a little bit more than most best men um, because, believe it or not, at one point in time, I could put his hand here and his legs were here. Not so much anymore. He's been a great kid. Um, I, I couldn't have asked for anything better. You have got an amazing woman. Uh, you have found the love of your life. I could feel the vibrations off the back of you when. You were looking at each other and it was starting to make me tear up. I could feel you feel Amanda. I wouldn't be surprised if everybody in, in the room didn't feel that at that time. And I'll just leave you with, remember that love and life is not measured by the number of breaths you take, but rather the ones that take your breath away. Love you guys. Here's to Danny and Amanda. <laughs>